inflate the inside or put a, an, a light in series with uh, the, the red-black wire. Now I've taken and I've removed the screws to show you. And this one, no, there's only seven. Here's the circuit board. All right, you see? And you've got green is powering your tortoise and white is powering your tortoise. And here you've got the black. And if you follow black up to here, okay, it comes up and over to here. Okay? So when this this is your contact. See these? No. So when it's in one position, I'm gonna take this out. Now you can see on here, as this slides, as this slides across, it makes a connection, okay? And where that connection is, see these two are tied together. So you've got, this is your red-black, mm -hmm. okay? So on the red-black, when the, when the slider is all over to this side, it is picking up the black wire, okay? And it's connecting it with here. When the slider's on this side, it's picking up the red wire. So where the slider is, as you can see, mm -hmm. when the slider hits, it transfers the power. Now the modification that was recommended is a reduction. See, you can see that on here, this is just an older board where the connection meets. So you could essentially cut out or eliminate a lot of this contact area mm -hmm. and then only have a connection here. But what happens is when this slider breaks off of here, there's a very small gap where there's no power running through to this. And, the, and one of the modifications is, that's recommended is to remove this. And then the other side is the same thing. It's just that it just wherever the switch is sitting determines which side it's getting power from to route to the mm -hmm. red black. Okay? So here's your power see, here's your here's your tortoise motor. All right. You've got one power leg goes up and into the motor, another power leg goes up and into the motor. Okay? Mm-hmm. So and these other six these are identical, they're the same things. Now, I mentioned reverse and why you would have a reverse switch. Uh, we mark ours, they're on. Ours are marked with ours, and the reason you would have a reverse, if you mount the switch underneath your layout, yeah. and all your switches are mounted the same way, the pin goes up here, and they all are this direction around the layout. Okay? That's a normal switch. But let's say that you don't have, let's say that there's a beam right here, and instead of mounting the switch here, you have to mount it this way. Oh, okay. You have to reverse it, and you have to reverse the black and the red. Okay. Because it will be reversed as well. Okay. Okay? Because when you throw the switch this way, it may be black this way, but if you turn it around this way, it won't be black. Right. You'll be making contact with the black, but it won't be black rail. Okay. So you have to be conscious of that. You said you needed two.